What's up, guys? My name's Noah. I make music as Haterade, and today we're getting into Neutron 2. So I'm going to go through a few things that you that you should know about in Neutron 2. Maybe some things that you uh, were aware of about Neutron 2 but didn't really know how to execute or um, just some things like uh, ways to not use Neutron, stuff like that. So um, basically what I got, uh, I got here is I got Neutron on a few different things on... Um, on uh, e on each group, I I mostly grouped everything. Kind of just tried to uh, do this, you know, throw some some settings together quickly. I uh, used Track Assistant a little bit, and we're going to talk about that in a second. But uh, let's focus how on the drums here. So um, let's see, we can loop this. Okay, so this is uh, uh, Neutron. We got I, I got it labeled drums. You want to label all of your Neutron devices, and we'll I'll show you why in a minute. But um, I mean, it, it, it helps to just stay organized. But uh, later on down the line, yeah, we'll get into that. But always, yeah, whenever you put a Neutron on something and you you have decided what that channel is, name the, your Neutron device. Um, right up here, we have uh, we got you know. Uh, gate, we got an equalizer, transient shaper, exciter, and two compressors. That's what comes in the Neutron uh, suite. Um, <clears throat> uh, we won't get into each of these uh, uh, each of these plugins and how they work. Um, we'll do that probably in another video. But I mean, as essentially, this is this is what Neutron Two is going to look like when you open it up. Up here, we have Track Assistant. Now, Track Assistant is not something that you want to just set it and forget it because it's not good. It's chances are it's not going to work with the rest of your song because the neutron doesn't listen to the rest of your song and mix this in with, uh, in an account with other elements of your track. It just does it based on the sound. It's, uh, it's that's getting fed into this neutron. So, uh, why don't we play this and we'll hit up, uh, we'll hit track assistant. So percussion, we'll choose up front and we'll choose medium intensity. Okay, so now it's working. It's adjusting, adjusting parameters. Okay, this is what it did. So but without Neutron, it sounds like this. With Neutron. really subtle difference right so this is and that that's essentially what neutron is is doing for you it's making those like little subtle changes so you can uh i mean because that's all a mix really is it's just a ton of really subtle moves that culminate into a really great mix so use track assistant sparingly you don't want to be overusing it and using it on everything in your song but uh, it's it's a really great starting point. Like for instance, right, right here, this is really this is really cool. I like how I like how it's uh, targeting this fundamental of my uh, of my snare, the low fundamental. But I'm gonna I'm gonna probably uh, sharpen that a little bit, and I'm probably gonna uh, bring that uh, high pass curve in here. And maybe for this compressor here, I'm going to turn off the auto gain. And bump this up a little bit more too. Give my snare a little bit more power. So you and you can also um, you know come in and uh, you know make you know make all these tweaks and everything. But uh, I mean, it's all, always important to hit that bypass. Make sure that what you're doing is actually good for your track, and uh, not just doing it just because your neutron says is what you should do.
Okay, cool. So, um, that's some, that's something you definitely need to know about Neutron. Uh, second thing you want to know about Neutron is that all the Neutron uh, stuff talks to each other. This is why it's important to name your Neutron devices. So, uh, let's jump into something. What else? What do I have? Neutron, all right. I think I have it on this thing. Yeah. So, let's say we want to EQ this kick with this this base right here. So we got two neutron devices, one on the kick, one on the base. So we can hit this masking function and I talk more in depth about uh masking in another video, but right here let's turn up that sensitivity. Right here's a prime example of uh why uh the track assistant isn't always the best option because it's boosting the uh, the bass on this kick right here while we have a sub bass coming in down here. So we come over here. So I, all right, I gotta control this. Take care of those masking frequencies probably boost this bass, this frequency down here on the bass. And we can uh, always do the dynamic EQ right here, so we can hit this. I'm also hearing a little bit of high end in that uh, bass I don't like to, so I'm going to bring that down. So this is a really great function right here, the uh, the masking function. This is, will help with your your mix overall. But the uh, another thing I want to I want to cover with you guys is this function right here. Now remember I told you that the reason why I uh, or big thing you want to do is label your neutrons. So uh, these are all, I mean, see this one says neutron and neutron two right here. These, I, I don't even know what these are right here. So I, I'd have to go through and dig and find what these neutrons are. But for the rest of these, I actually, lab actually labeled them. So what I could do is I can mix these By dragging them up or down, I can widen them or make a mono. And that applies to all of this stuff. You can widen those guitars. Maybe pan them to the left a little bit or the right. Bump those kicks up, put them in the center. So this is a really, a really great thing to, that Neutron offers is the uh, ability to mix like this. It's, it's so much easier, and it's, it's and it gives you a lot more controls. And you don't have to like, you know, look at this whole board of all these meters jumping up and down. You can kind of just like uh, visualize it, which you know why they call it the visual mixer. So right here too, we can also, uh, let's say we'll just make some adjustments here. We'll bring these, these guitars out here and we'll grab the drums and spread them out and put, put them over there. I'm just making some random movements and we set, we set snapshot A. Now we'll go and make some more adjustments. We'll bring the kicks over down here. We'll bring the guitars all the way up, bring the drums over here. Maybe we'll grab the synths and put them up the highest. Uh, I don't know, anything. So then we can uh, set B right there. So now we can come back and jump between mixes. So that's, I mean, th that's super, super valuable too. I mean, like, I don't, I don't really know any uh, 
I mean, other than an actual console, I don't really think that you could do that where you could just jump back and forth between mixes. So this is super, super helpful uh, tool that Neutron offers. So anyways, guys, those are uh, those are a few tips about Neutron that I hope uh, hope shed some insight on how to use it. Um, it take, I mean, it's really, really malleable. So I, uh, I hope you guys get a lot out of it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.